What is it about Fridays? They're like the best day of the week. Hello fellow creatives, it is day five and it is Friday. I've decided to continue going through my stack of old paintings. I did call them unloved paintings, but that's a negative term. So I'm just gonna say my stack of paintings that I'm going to paint over because I no longer love them. And my lovely neighbor who inspires me more often than I thought, she mentioned something of a triptych this morning on our walk. So it just so happens that I have three old paintings that have similar stuff on them that I'm just gonna repurpose. So I'm gonna dive right into this because I'm gonna need the time. I have an idea of what's gonna be on them from a statue that I got from my sister from when she traveled in Germany. Um, actually, let me see if I can find it. Yes, here it is. How cute are these little guys? So they nestle together. Um, I think you can switch them up. No, this is the way that they go. But aren't they the cutest little guys? That's one thing about loving an animal is when people travel, they pick you up the most beautiful little travel keepsakes. And this one is from my little sister from when she was traveling in Germany. And I just love it. It's just such a treasure. So I'm thinking I'm going to be inspired by these, you know, long little legs on these elephants and, and sort of work it into this triptych. So my first day five Friday tip is Use an old magazine for your paint palette. Um, I know that some people use a piece of glass and then they scrape the paint off, but then that paint still ends up in the garbage. Um, paper plates or plastic palette, but I always find that the palettes get gunky and then they're never clean. So what I use is an old magazine. Um, and then once I get all these really cool textures and colors and things, I rip the page off and I stash it to use and rip up in other projects later. So there's like zero waste with this palette if you decide to keep the pages. So um, think about that. The next time that you're trying to find a, a palette solution, instead of going out and buying one, just hunt out an old magazine and use it. And sometimes you get some really cool, like I absolutely love this right now. I would just literally cut this out and turn it into a painting. Um, I just love this flash of gold and then this flash of red that's right here. Um, so I'm actually going to rip out this page and save it and repurpose it for another painting sometime down the line. I love it that I haven't even started yet and I'm already able to give you a tip. Because at the end of the day, that's what these videos are about. They're about teaching you art. And if you're anything like me, you learned to do art by watching videos. So if I'm helping you learn a little bit about art, please comment below and let me know how I'm doing. It's day five and I'd love to learn what is working and what's not. I would greatly appreciate it. So in order for me to draw the elephants on my painting, I'm going to need to use a white watercolor pencil. I tried to use my graphite watercolor pencil, um, but it just kind of disappears in the dark paint that I have here. So I'm gonna give it a shot with the white one and see if I get any further with that. Do you know that I have very bad electronic karma? So I went to go and start editing this bad boy and I'm missing an entire bunch of footage. So you're gonna miss out on me actually drawing the little itty bitty elephant, but there's actually not a thing I can do about it. I said blame it on my electronic karma. My husband literally asked me the other day, like do you need to go through some kind of like anti-electronic scanner or something because it's day five and I have had nothing but problems when it comes to post-production, which is really messed up because I used to be a film student. <laughs> ah! 
Yes, that is the truth. How embarrassing. So I hope you don't mind, but we're kind of jumping in about 15 minutes into the project here, but you'll get to the good parts anyway. So all I can say is I'm sorry. I just 
finished painting the white outlines on all the elephants and there was a very big key in how you can accomplish this without a lot of frustration because and one of the things is that you need to use a good quality fluid acrylic paint um, i mentioned the high flow acrylics yesterday but the key to getting yourself to do a long line of white paint is to have a fluid acrylic and then a little bit of water not too much water you want it to be almost like a consistency of like whipping cream before it's whipped um, because that allows you to do a nice long line so you'll see if you just use a craft paint with a little bit of water you'll find that it'll be too watery and not opaque enough and and your line will have to stop a lot so when you're using um, a high or a fluid acrylic then you can draw a nice long consistent line without having to add more paint because adding more paint is going to inevitably add blobs or extra width to your line so it's hard to do so this is lots and lots and lots of practice and doing it wrong for a long time um, but that's really key to getting those nice fluid long lines in your paintings. last I'm calling this one done for now I like the elephants I feel like they are done but I'm not sure that I'm finished in the bluey background area but sometimes you just have to know when to walk away from a project and it's okay to leave it feeling a little bit unfinished and thinking that you always have an opportunity to come back to it so that's where I'm gonna leave this at today the one thing I wanted to mention and let you know about is that I've painted the edges of each canvas with the dark blue. And one way to do that that works really great, I found, is to use a um, small foam brush. You can get the paint on it, but the cool thing is, is that you kind of get it loaded with paint and you jam it on there and then you use the flat part of the paintbrush and it really gives this great coverage, but because it's flat, it doesn't kind of want to creep over and splash over. Whereas if I used a paintbrush, you know, all those brushes are going to, to brush across, you know, the edges there, and that's going to totally mess up my whole painting. So the foam brush is really key to painting those edges and not having it creep onto the top of your painting. So I know I didn't have that many tips for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. The pen that I used, in case you're wondering, is the um, Jelly Roll 08 Sakura. This is the best gel pen that I have found. I love its flow. It has a nice, fine line. Um, and as long as your surface is dry, it's perfect for drawing on top of mixed media, acrylic paint, all that kind of stuff. 
If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for day six of the 30 Days of Painted Elephants project or vlog every day in August. Send me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the painting and if you have any questions, hit that like button and give me a thumbs up if you dug it and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more.